Pam and Monica Newhouse might be a lot like you. They're young, always on the move, and they want to look attractive. Makeup helps, but using makeup is only one of the many things you can do to help you look and feel your best. Being attractive begins with your own personal health. Part of that is being clean. Sweat. Your body gives off about a pint of it every day. You know what it's like to be near someone who doesn't bathe very often. The smell isn't very attractive, is it? Your body really needs to be washed all over almost every day to prevent body odor. That's especially important during your menstrual period, when your sweat glands are the most active. Menstruation is a natural and normal body process. For most girls, it doesn't cause serious problems. However, if there is unusual discomfort, have a checkup. See your physician. He can also give you information to help you choose between external pads with a belt and tampons, which are internal pads. But whichever you use, change the pads about three times a day during the first days of your period. Both Pam and Monica keep track of their periods on a calendar. That way, they know when to expect them. Being clean is part of keeping your body and skin healthy and attractive. If you have problem skin, there are a lot of things you can do for it. If your skin is oily, the best thing is to wash with plenty of soap. If dry skin is your problem, try a cleansing cream. It moisturizes your skin and keeps it soft and smooth. But whether your skin is dry or oily, it's important to completely dry it after you wash to avoid chapping. A brisk rubbing also removes the dry, dead skin cells. Removing them helps keep your skin smooth and soft, clean and fresh. Oh yes, one more added protection against body odor is a deodorant that counteracts odor, or an antiperspirant that keeps you from perspiring. Be careful if you have sensitive skin. Some deodorants or antiperspirants can irritate it. Remember though, deodorants shouldn't be used instead of bathing. If you don't bathe, a deodorant won't fool anyone. Oh yes, your teeth. You know about seeing the dentist at least twice a year. But do you know how to really keep your teeth clean? Right. Brush your teeth in the direction they grow. Brush down in the upper teeth, brush up on the lower ones. And then, brush across on the chewing surfaces. Simple. And it helps prevent bad breath better than many mouthwashes. If you can't brush after eating, at least rinse out your mouth. Water makes a fine mouthwash. Wigs are fun, but don't forget your natural hair. It's important for you to take care of it. Make it a habit to brush and comb your hair. That keeps it clean and distributes the natural oil, which gives it that soft glow. Brushing also stimulates blood circulation in the scalp, which helps keep your hair healthy. How often you shampoo your hair depends on how it looks and feels to you. Monica does hers twice a week, and that's a pretty good average. It's really important to rinse well. Rinsing gets all the soap out and helps remove dried skin flakes from your scalp, what you call dandruff. Dandruff is really a skin problem, you know. Acne is another. Acne is caused by overactive oil glands, and it's fairly common among teenagers. 
If you have an acne problem, your doctor may prescribe a special skin medication for you. But if you treat yourself, be careful. Some acne products may irritate your skin and make the acne worse instead of better. Thinking at acne doesn't help it either because that can spread the infection and leave scars. There are two things you can do to help prevent acne. One is to keep your face clean. Give it at least three good washings a day. And the other is to eat a balanced diet. You know what that is. You know, food can be fun. Try different ways of preparing food. Try fixing new and exotic dishes. Vegetables are a great source of natural vitamins if they're not overcooked. Try them fresh or steamed. And don't forget quick energy foods like carbohydrates from the bread cereal food group. And use your imagination in preparing meats and fish, important protein sources. And instead of rich pastries or gooey sundaes for dessert, try having fresh fruit with cheese. Cheese and milk are rich in calcium, good for your bones and teeth. Your diet also affects your skin and hair. Of course, it isn't always possible to eat a balanced diet, but you should try because your dress size, which means your shape and your weight, is also affected by your diet. And you don't have to be reminded that having a good figure is active. Both Pam and Monica pull their figures by watching their food intake and by getting plenty of exercise. Exercise builds and strengthens your muscles and helps your blood circulate. Exerting yourself keeps you from getting flabby. Your legs and body stay firm and attractive. Take time to relax, too. That helps release tension. Resting is also important. If you loosen tight muscles, you can work and play better without being tense or nervous. Relaxation is more than simply doing nothing. Relaxation is a releasing of tension in your mind and body. Getting enough sleep is important, too. Eight hours a night is a good average to let your body repair itself and build up energy for the next day. Oh, and your feet. Did you know that far more women than men have trouble with their feet? Shoe style is important, but it's just as important to make sure your shoes fit properly. A good fit helps you avoid corns, calluses, and ingrown toenails. Comfortable, well-fitted shoes help you stand and walk with grace and poise. That's part of your overall attractiveness, too. That about ends shopping for Pam and Monica today. One of the most important aspects of health is your attitude toward yourself. Your attitude affects your posture, your walk, the way you dress, the way you care for yourself. You're old enough now to make most of your own decisions about yourself. No one can really tell you what to do.
You know what tobacco can do to your body. And as you've also been told many times, alcohol and other drugs can all damage your body and your mind. So why mess with them? I mean, why not just find out who you are? Accept what you can't change about yourself and improve what you can. And take care of yourself.